shirt I'm for video and the thing I can do is I can look at it here in my display and I can put it in there where my head won't go as long as I don't drop it and I can turn it and I'm going to share this with you because it will show us what's underneath I want to take a minute and get acclimated and want to look both ways. And we can kind of see if we need to do anything structurally and I will upload that and we will peek at it and we'll see what we got. Uh, I can see that joist, the um, I-beam from the side. Yeah. But uh, I can look up underneath him. I can look at your, it looks like a tuba sex. Right? Yep. Dropping cameras in water. It's probably not. A ah, good person general would not smile down on me for that. No. Damn, two by six framing. Okay. But, uh, you know. anyhow, I'll, I'll see what we see with this thing. Um, at least in that span, but, you know, the thing I do is I look for some wiggle. And yeah. I, you know, you don't feel. Nope. So, you know, I don't have a boat. I don't need a boat payment. Um, so I'm of the mind set of why can't we keep this inexpensive and put new decking on it? I don't like the plastic stuff, but I don't want to mess with your ecosystem either. Well, I tell you, um, that's consistent with what I was thinking. Uh, initially, what I was thinking is they've got some of that paint stuff that uh, you know gives you a, a non-slip non-skid surface but that looks like a lot of work and I wasn't sure how that was going to work on this thing in and Charleston we had a, a it was a, a little packet we poured into the it was gray on everything just like yeah. yours and the packet was it kind of looked and felt like sand particles but it was it was it was very small particles Um, I'm Actually, see. I remember my dad doing that. Yeah, they've got another kind of stuff that we used to use. It's uh, shark paper, and it, it feels like apparently it feels like the skin of a shark being, you know, rough. Yeah, you know. But uh, I remembered. I was. I'm still trying to figure out how you got fish. Because I know you got fish, and they came from. Somewhere. Yep. I think they came from. Uh, That'd be a hurricane. Bird. A bird? Yeah. Bird dropping the fish in the pond so it can make more fish to eat. Or uh, row on its legs from yep. someplace else. Because we've had uh, ducks in here a couple of times mm -hmm. and. Uh, Heron in here a couple of times. Yeah, we'll go. That has got to be very cool is to see an egret or heron or something uh, hanging out in your front yard. I got a little house at the river in uh, Edisto River in, in the low country of Charleston. And I I like to take silent boat trips. Yeah. With no motor boats, you know, right. just, just an electric motor or a paddle and the things that will let you get close if you're not noisy. Yeah. And uh, that, that's one of the coolest things. Um, there he is right there. Um, but I wanted to kind of look and see what I see down here, I being wise, because, uh, you know, that's, that would be a big old bucket of money to have to do anything with that I being. Yeah. And I want to at least look at it. Um, I think, if I remember right, you had a computer engineering background. Is that right? Yep. And uh, you can see rust just like I can. There's nothing special about it. And once it gets to a point, because I don't want to have to do anything with these beans because they're heavy and they're expensive as crap. But uh, let's see. Um, this is harder to see. Well, maybe not. My camera lens is getting acclimated. But we at least have something. 
where we can take a peek, making an intelligent, informed, educated decision. Um, but this might be the one application where I decide that plastics may be better. Well, but you're going to have to twist my arm real hard to screw plastic down on anything because I had so many customers around Duke because I live in Durham and they were triple deck with labs and things, anesthesiologists and the like. Um, call me back in five years and say, get this crap off of my house. I want wood because really? we can sand it, refinish it, make it pretty again. Yeah. Plastic gets cut and it will get cut here by shoes sand particles and it's going to be gross and I can't come up with the track company telling me how to refinish. Well, yeah, and the only reason I mentioned it was because I I don't care to do a lot of maintenance. This thing. I agree. And, uh, I agree. And it, it really is entirely up to you whatever you want to do. Um, but if we can put and I don't know how long this wood has been on here but my guess is it's probably been. It could be. It could have been here for for uh, 20, 30 years. Twenty years, I'm sure. And if you get twenty more, you're not going to have to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. No, seriously. And I love wood. Yeah, I do too. I hate plastic. And I will tell you that with the stone and the charm of the house and the pergola behind you. I will install what you want, but I will lobby. And I've got a producer of decking. I'll show you a picture of a deck I just built for my local gym. And it's 12 by 24, and it's got one knot. Really? And that whole thing is beautiful. Wow. Yep, I love it. So, uh, let me see. Um, get a board count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 30, 30, 40, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then we've got a couple of 2 by 4s So I'm right at 47, um, about 5 foot wide, yeah. and um, I can take the Two by four, how long is that exactly? One, two, four, five, six, seven, that's 21, about 22 feet. I was hoping for a single two by four, yeah. but I, I can't. So it's best to go 12 and 12 is 24. And if I got 22, I'll only have one seam and it will be the middle. But we need to replace that one and this side, anything top side that's failing. Yeah. Um, is that a 2x4? That's not a 2x4. That's well, a 2x10. Yeah, that's right at 9 inches. Yeah. It's a 2x10, okay. Now I might can find a 2x10. I'm going to try if I can get a maybe Tar Heel. But I would rather have a single piece. Not that that's holding up the house because the I beams are holding the house right. up. But uh, another thing I would do is I will never put a nail in a piece of decking at your house, ever. I wondered about that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's on code, it's fine. But I'm gonna pop chalk lines. I'm gonna use yellow chalk. That's not gonna stay there for a hundred right. years. I won't use red or blue. And um, that'll give me a straight line so that it drops exactly where I want them to. Um, and the yellow will wash off real quick. It's not gonna hurt your ecosystem. Um, and the decking I use is dried already, so it won't shrink. Okay, good. And I don't want a bunch of shrinking boards and right. looking crappy up here with my name on it because I don't like doing crappy stuff. And um, it'll be a prime guard is the name of the screw. Deckmate's my favorite. Um, it's a star drive. I'll leave you a couple extra. Ah, okay. Because, you, know, you know, the star drive is a lot of extra surface area. Right. Not like Phillips. It's yeah. minimal surface area. And um, yeah, we can uh, take this off real careful. And uh, it's uh, not arsenic anymore. The treatment is copper oxide. Ah. So it's got a little green tint in it. 
I don't think any chemical is going to go real well with the ecosystem, but yeah. I think that this chemical is embedded and dried into the wood so that, um, you know, it's, um, it'll work pretty well with that. And oh, I'll, good. I'll call a couple chemists that I know and make sure All right. that we don't need to weather this stuff and just let it rain on it for a couple of days or weeks or something. Yeah. Because I, I want it rinsed well. I don't want to hurt your, your right. pond. Um, but yeah. Okay. You can replace that one board or two. You have something. You can do that or yeah. you, you want me no, to I run can out? No, I put that back together. Okay, that's fine. Um, what time frame are you thinking? Um, it's not critical. Sure. So that's fine. So we got a I, we got know, a couple weeks. Yeah, a month or at most, and let's wait till it gets warm. I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> warm up a little bit before we come out, out here. Out here when it's ninety-five. Man, I built a deck for my gym. I mean, I ran out there on the weekend. I can't pay yeah. a craftsman to do that stuff. So I went out and I built that deck real quick for that guy because it was falling down. It's got commercial traffic, and I like my gym. Yeah, I like my gym owner. I like my gym. I've got a key. I've had one for ten years. And I do a lot of maintenance for them, and they just never bill me for stuff. 